Welcome to another PhotoLink tutorial on uh, Paint.net. On this uh, particular tutorial, we're going to talk about plugins. Uh, this might be elementary to many of you, but it uh, might be very helpful to others. Uh, in Paint.net, many of the effects that come standard with Paint.net um, need a little bit of assistance. Um, so what's happened is they have the facility in these effects of dropping in a DLL, which has been especially constructed for this program, where um, effects can be added by users other than the author of the program, the authors of the program. So what we're going to do is we're going to go out and we're going to select a um, DLL, or we're going to accept, or, or we're going to select a plugin by going to the uh, paint.net website or we could have uh, just hit plugins there but anyways this is a good way of finding it so we've gone to the paint.net website we get our standard redirection message here we go to forum uh, in forum what we do is we come down here and we go to plugins publishing only now I've chosen a um, a plugin here, which is about halfway down. It's called the um, uh, Water Reflection. So I'm going to click on that. And if you notice right here, we have a download button. Wherever it's at, right here. Here it is. Uh, what's okay? Here it is, right here. So we're going to download that. We it's. It, it asks us now if we want to save it, and we say save. Now I've selected a directory here called temp. Okay, off my local drive C. You can select any directory that you choose to download it. We're going to say save. Now that's saved. Now we're going to open it. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy uh, that plugin. Okay, using the uh, right right mouse click and a copy. We're going to come back to our directory selection. We're going to go to Drive C. We're going to go to our program files. Okay, which is right here. We're going to go to .net, or I mean paint.net. That's been a long night. Uh, paint.net. If you'll notice, we have a directory in here called Effects. Now, it's simple to add and remove plugins. What we just do is if we want to add one, we just drop with the Paste command uh, that DLL into this directory. If we wanted to remove it, we can uh, erase that DLL, uh, and that would take that effect out. So now I'm going to close this directory. I'm going to close the website. I'm going to close paint.net. Right now you can see that um, under distort, I believe it's under distort, that uh, we have no water reflection. But if we restart paint.net, if you'll notice now under effects, we now have water reflection. So what we can basically do is we can create, um, oh, like let's say, uh, let's create a, a, a selection. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a bucket fill on that selection. And we're going to, like, let's say, do backward diagonal. And we're going to fill it. That's pretty ugly, but it kind of makes the point. And uh, what we're going to do now is come up to our adjustments. And we're, I mean, our effects. And we're going to come into distort and water reflection. And here's our dialog. And we're going to say OK. And wait a minute, what we have to do here is we have to do another select under a replace mode to get rid of it. And we'll just do an escape. 
And now if we come up to our effects, and if we go to distort, and we go rod or reflection, and we say OK, if you notice we get kind of a funny looking image, but that is the water reflection, how that actually operates. So now, um, again, we go to help. You do not have to go to the paint.web website. You can go directly, paint.net website. You can go directly to plugins, and it will pull up that particular forum. And then pulling up that particular forum, uh, what we can do is we can select a plugin, and they have many, many good ones here. And uh, choosing that plugin, we download it to a directory and then copy it and then drop it into our effects directory, uh, wherever our program, our, our uh, paint.net is installed. It's usually in um, program files um, and under paint.net. We put it in the effects directory. Then, should we choose to remove that plugin, we have to close paint.net first. We come up here, we run, we'll go to Explore, and we'll come up to My Computer, Drive C, we'll come up to Program Files, which is right here. We'll come up to uh, paint.net, go to our effects directory, and now if I delete this, and then if I go back up and open up paint.net again, and if I go to my effects directory and distort, if you notice, it's gone. So that includes this video. Uh, please visit the site www.fotolink.com for uh, more videos and more tutorials. And please uh, help support that site. Uh, thank you very much and have a good evening. Good night.